My name is Charlie McGrath. I'm the founder of WideAwakeNews.com and a host on the Rinse Radio Network. We had Democrats and Republicans go before the cameras several months back saying that uh, they've come up with a deal in order to raise the debt ceiling from $14.3 trillion to over $16 trillion. But don't worry, America, even though we're, we're hemorrhaging debt, a lot of it is... Uh, has been uh, inquired bailing out the too big to fail, we have a solution. We're going to whittle the Congress down from 535 members down to 12. And these 12 will close doors and figure out what to do. And you know what? If they don't, we're going to have automatic cuts kick in. Well, here we go. Today they announced there is no deal coming and these automatic cuts will ensue. Now, it might be a year down the road before they kick in, but you can be rest assured of one thing, as some stories I'll attach to this video will show you, there's no cuts coming to the military like we were told there was going to be if a deal wasn't done because the world is just too dangerous of a place. So they're going to have to go ahead and cut somewhere else. And if you think for one second that you're not going to be affected by this austerity, consider this. 50% of the people in this country in one form or another receive some kind of check from the government. I'm not saying that's a good thing. I'm not saying that's a bad thing. I'm saying that's a fact. So when they decide they're going to uh, let the pendulum swing from the perceived far left to the perceived far right, guess who they're going to come after? You see, in 2008, they needed to ask your permission to totally shred the Constitution and give us not only too big to fail that were systemic then, now we have too big to fail that are completely the government. So there will be no end to the military projection of Empire America. There will be no end to backstopping these too big to fail. And there will be no end to the crises. This is how we're governed. Long since had the days uh, has it been since we've had a constitutional republic in this country, we don't even have a uh, mediocre democracy. We have a government that lies to its people constantly, uh, puts on a happy face in front of the cameras, promising they have solutions, but at the end of the day, know full well that it will, it will just go to these automatic cuts, and they'll be able to throw their hands in the air and say, hey, sorry, it just happened, we couldn't make a deal, but it isn't my fault. Be rest assured, austerity is coming here. Look around the world. See what's happening in these countries where the leaders were literally you know, taken out of office and technocrats were put in. We will continue to see people in the streets in this country, not because, as the mainstream media would have us believe, that they're nothing but hippies, but because they have no hope, because they have no representation, because the people in Washington, D.C. are working for their financiers that have uh, financed their uh, rocket to the top of the political elite. Stories are attached. That's all I got.